as I've leaned in on this new division, because I now have uh, business banking as well, I've been going around talking to clients and uh, what they're really telling me is there's really two things that are really important for them. The first is they need stability uh, in, around what we're doing with lockdowns. One of the things that's a real challenge is rolling lockdowns and uncertainty around what we do is really challenging them, particularly if they're in the hospitality industry. And then some certainty, particularly in tourism and hospitality, again, that we have a path to getting the borders open. And particularly the vaccination program, again, is really important for people, that they get a sense that, yes, that is on the horizon, I can start planning for that. For businesses that are on local demand, where you know, particularly local tourism is going really well, uh, local consumption is going really well, the removal of the one and a half meter rule in downtown CBD areas has really boosted the food and beverage side and the hospitality side. We're now seeing skills and the ability to attract staff, particularly high skilled staff. But it's even beyond that. It's generally in hospitality, you had a, a lot of people that would come in from outside. Seasonal workers are a problem. Uh, casual workers are a problem. So that we're seeing much more around skills and capacity is what's, what's needed. Everybody's, I think, relatively in good shape in terms of both cash flow and the ability to access credit. So that's not a constraint. There's plenty of capacity in the system uh, to lend. But again, it's you know, key talent drives businesses. And that's what I'm hearing more than anything else. Everything's about changing the policies, the processes, the way we go to market to make sure that the customer has a single touch point with us that deals with all of their needs. And we're all about creating those superior customer outcomes. Joint division exists only for that. And that's our top priority. Well, it was wonderful to go up to Newcastle. It's incredibly important for us to go out into regional Australia and see how strong the growth is. But what is really important also for us is to invest into that growth and to signal that very clearly. And us spending $2 million to put up a business banking centre is a real signal to our more than 9,000 customers that we're there, we're there permanently. We went into COVID conservatively and right? it is extremely uncertain. And we've come out very much at the upper end of our expectations. But there was a long period where the lower end of our expectations was a very real consideration. And in hindsight, it, we probably put too much weight on less good scenarios than the ones we've got to. So as we recalibrate now with greater certainty about the future, um, our appetite to lend is much greater and we're starting to push into that really strongly. So we've rolled back all of our risk settings to pre-COVID levels and revisiting uh, our risk appetite statements and our process to make it as easy as possible for people to borrow from us. And that's really in response to customers saying, you, know, you can trust us, our businesses are strong. And we've responded to that by putting more credit appetite out there. And we are very interested in helping people grow their businesses. So our statement for that is targeted growth. Right, so you know we're not loosening up generally, but we see real opportunities where sectors are very strong, where our clients are doing really well to feed a lot more uh, lending into those systems. So we're absolutely open for business uh, and looking for more opportunities where we like the risk and we can lean in and lend more money. So we're leaning in very heavily on the government's uh, support program from SMEs and, and uh, we're ready to extend loans in that area. It's been interesting that demand has been relatively soft for that, which is a wonderful thing because it means most businesses are in good shape and don't, uh, don't need help. There's a lot of cash floating around both individuals and businesses are generally cash rich at this point and we see people drawing down their own cash first. We're now starting to see as business confidence picks up for specific uh, borrowing demands like buying new pieces of equipment, investing in new real estate, uh, opening new factories, we are really starting to see that surge come through and that's, that's good for us, but it's also really good for those businesses. Their confidence that they can invest for future growth is now really high, right? and we're starting to see that translate into, into demand. Real estate is really where there's been a lot of movement in the early part of the recovery out of COVID. So we saw house prices go up really, really fast. Uh, there's a real supply demand imbalance there, which is driving up house prices. Uh, I was very pleased to see we saw a big jump in first time uh, home ownership that we were able to finance. But that's also reflected in uh, real movement in property lending. So we continue to see very strong demand for real estate projects. Uh, and that's been very strong for us. What we're now seeing is a much stronger push on equipment financing. So we're starting to see businesses capacitize around machinery and equipment. 
Australia has come through the COVID stresses extremely well. If we had dialed back a year ago and looked at the economic and hoped for the economic data, this would be at the very top end of our expectations. So incredible forward looking forecasts on GDP growth, um, but importantly, very low levels of unemployment. The Australian balance sheet on aggregate for both businesses and consumers are in really good shape. The system's primed with a lot of cash. Uh, a lot of that's come from the government in support of, of businesses. So it feels that we're ready to surge into very strong growth. There are a couple of hot spots there. Not all industries have done well. There are small pockets of challenges, um, particularly where we have rolling lockdowns, uh, particularly in the hospitality industry. But these are localized hotspots. Uh, broadly, I think we're in really good shape.